Hi, it's Sandy. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm making my dinner for this evening. Um, so it is a weeknight uh, skillet slaw and it's made with ground turkey. I've already went ahead and cooked up my turkey. I like to get the 99% lean ground turkey and then go ahead and cook that up with a little bit of olive oil uh, to get, add that healthier fat to it so it doesn't have quite as much saturated fat in it. And I cooked that up, I hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then um, took that out of my wok, or you can use a skillet for this as well. And then to my wok, I added um, red pepper, and I used uh, whole red pepper. You could use half, half what is what, what the recipe calls for. I put in some green onion and garlic, and as you can see, I've got that cooking up nicely. And to this, I'm going to add the slaw. So I generally uh, take a shortcut with slaw and I'll buy the bags of slaw. It calls for about eight ounces of slaw. This I believe is 14 ounces so I'll just use a little or close to half the bag here. So if you've never tried something with meat and slaw together it just makes a great combination. Um, you know think like a uh, cabbage roll or something like that where you have the cabbage with the meat and I have a recipe on my Pinterest page uh, called unstuffed cabbage roll that um, I get a lot of good reviews on that one uh, a lot of people like that one instead of using pasta using cabbage uh, helps cut down on the amount of carb that you're eating so as you can see I put put about half that cabbage in there I'm getting that all cooking here together it will sweat out a little bit And uh, this dish, again, just really healthy for you, comes to, together really quickly. Um, just took a few minutes, probably 10 minutes or less, to cook up the turkey and then let this go, you know, maybe 10 minutes-ish on this. And then I had already put my sauce together as well. So the sauce is simply um, some olive oil, rice vinegar. Um, it calls for agave. I just used honey, so I put the honey in there. And then um, also, what am I missing? Oh, um, a little bit of soy sauce. I didn't have soy sauce, so I actually used Worcestershire sauce. I'm interested to see how this will turn out, but um, a lot of times soy sauce and even the light soy sauces have a lot of uh, salt sodium in them. So if you can find a recipe to make your own or use a substitute, um, you can certainly do that. I also added to this ginger, it called for one and a half teaspoons of uh, minced ginger. I like to buy the paste and have that on hand, it saves time, but you can certainly use the fresh ginger or um, a half of the amount in dried ginger as well in your sauce there. So I'm continuing to sweat this out a little bit. And you could use for the oil, like I used olive oil in my pan. Um, but it does call for sesame seed on top um, once you get it uh, cooked together for a little bit of crunch so you could definitely use sesame seed oil in here as well so i've got that kind of spreading out i'm going to go ahead and add my turkey to this and i will cover this um, and just let it cook a little bit longer after video here so as you can see um, a great um, dish that you can make pretty much in one pot here so you don't have a lot of dishes you could add more cabbage certainly if you wanted as well so i've got that going looking good there and then i'm going to go ahead and put my sauce over top sauces just add such nice flavor um, you know especially if you're trying to follow a diet and you feel real restricted in your the flavors or you're having a lot of plain foods um, without a lot of um, extra additions uh, a sauce can really make the food much more exciting and enjoyable so I've got that sauce mixed in there it smells really good you can smell the garlic and the ginger and then to this I'm just going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of uh, sesame seeds so I've got the white sesame seeds here Just kind of stir those in 
And I'm just going to cover this and let it cook for a few more minutes. And then we will have that ready for our meal tonight. And um, I hope you will try this recipe. It is on my Pinterest page, Weeknight Skillet Slaw. Super easy to make. I'm, I guarantee you, you will like it. And a nice uh, recipe to add into uh, the rotation for your meals and get some great cabbage into your diet as well, which is a great cruciferous vegetable um, that is you know, anti-inflammatory and helps promote good health. So I appreciate you joining me and I will see you again soon. Enjoy.